This is the island of Ireland. It's the third largest island in Europe, located to the northwest of the continent. There are two separate countries on this island, the Republic of Ireland and Northern Ireland. They have different currencies, governance, and with almost similar culture. The Republic of Ireland, also known as Ireland, is an independent country located in the northern part of the island. Mainly Catholics, with the capital city Dublin. The Republic of Ireland is a parliamentary democracy with a president as the head of state and a prime minister as the head of government. They are using euro for currency, identify as Irish dude, and using kilometers as length to measure distance. Meanwhile, Northern Ireland is a part of the United Kingdom, and it is located in the northeastern part of the island, mainly Protestant with the capital it is Belfast. Northern Ireland is a constitutional monarchy with a monarch as the head of state and a first minister as the head of government, have British pound as currency, identify as a British, and using miles like every American do. So, how did this happen? The division of Ireland has a complex historical and political background, with tensions arising from religious and political differences. One significant factor was the English colonization of Ireland in the 16th and 17th centuries. English settlers and officials took control of much of the land, pushing aside the native Irish population and enforcing English laws and customs. This led to tensions between the two groups, as well as resistance by the Irish who sought to maintain their own culture and traditions. Another key factor was, the rise of Irish nationalism in the late 19th and early 20th centuries, especially after the Great Famine. That time, United Kingdom has already formed between the Four Kingdom, and Irish nationalists whose mainly Catholicism sought greater autonomy and independence from English rule. They believe that Ireland should be ruled by its own people, rather than by a foreign power. While many Unionists, mainly Protestants, wish to still remain part of the United Kingdom, because they think that a separate Irish state would be economically and politically unstable. This led to the Irish War of Independence, which began in 1919, which occurred during the aftermath of World War I. Irish rebels fight against British forces in order to establish an independent Irish Republic. So, the Anglo-Irish Treaty of 1921 was signed between the Irish and British governments creating two separate entities, the largely Catholic Irish Free State, which had limited autonomy but remained part of the British Empire, and Northern Ireland, which remained part of the United Kingdom and had a Protestant majority. This division of the island was largely based on religious and political differences. The partition of Ireland was opposed by many Irish nationalists, who saw it as a betrayal of their struggle for independence. This led to a period of unrest and violence, known as the Troubles. Both sides engaged in acts of violence, including bombings, shootings, and assassinations. The conflict also led to the deployment of British troops in Northern Ireland, which further escalated tensions and violence. In order to end this mess, the Good Friday Agreement also known as the Belfast Agreement was signed, in order to establishing a power-sharing government in Northern Ireland and creating a framework for cross-border cooperation between Northern Ireland and the Republic of Ireland. While the agreement has been successful in maintaining peace and stability in Northern Ireland, tensions still exist and the region remains divided on the issue. Today, while the Republic of Ireland is an independent country, Northern Ireland still remains part of the United Kingdom, and its future remains uncertain, with some advocating for reunification with the Republic of Ireland and others advocating for continued union with the United Kingdom. Thanks for watching.